Welcome everyone! In order to get the most out of the S23 Ultra, let's start off with customizing our home unlock screen. So on the home screen, if you just long press on the empty space, try that again, you are able to change the wallpaper and style, you can change the themes, you can add the widgets, and you can customize your home screen settings to change the home screen grid, app screen grid, etc. And if you're looking at your S23 Ultra, you will notice in my case, I have increased the home screen grid. I've changed it. And if you want my exact settings, I just long press again. You can see I set the home screen grid to 4 by 6 By default, I believe it's 4 by 5 or 4 by 4 and on top of this, not all applications on your home screen, you actually want to stay on the home screen. So you can just long press on an app. And you see here, remove and uninstall. Remove just means it's going to be removed from the home screen, but it won't be completely uninstalled from the Samsung. So if you do that, boom, and the application is still in the app drawer, you can see it right here. And if you want to re-add the app, drag, and then drop just like this. And so in my personal case, I have categories and have these widgets here. So I have the weather widget, see the weather. And then I have the calendar here to just look at what I need to do. And then I have a tick tick, which is just a checklist of stuff. I have my devices here. I can see the battery percent. That is my smartwatch if you're wondering. And then I have my apps. And so if you need to create a folder, just drag and drop one app into another. And that'll create a folder. But to have my banking, social, apps when I need to, you know, create some YouTube videos. Then I have these utilities, which are apps, which don't really have a category, but I use them a lot. I have my mail app, photo, camera, and then just some other apps I'm typically using. And that just means I can quickly access stuff a lot easier than if I wasn't. The next thing is using your camera to its full potential. So inside of the camera app here, if you just find this aspect ratio sign, there are these hidden options. So you have four by three, 16 by nine, but then you have the option to take a 50 megapixel shot, which is gonna have more detail, and then a 200 megapixel shot as well. So when you take the high megapixel pictures, see it does take a little bit longer to process, but compared to a regular 12 megapixel shot, which is what it uses by default, you're gonna get a lot better picture quality. You won't see it from like boxes, but if you're taking pictures of other stuff, that will be 100% noticeable. And if you're wondering, the main camera is 200 megapixels, but the downsize the actual shot to just 12 megapixels. But if you go into here, you can set the full 200 megapixel just like this. And let's go to the settings. If you want the pictures to be even better quality, if you go to advanced picture options, make sure high efficiency pictures is turned off. And for the pro mode picture format, just set this to raw. Now, when you set this to raw, it's going to capture all of the original detail. What JPEG does is it will capture the original detail, but to save on file size, it will just remove some of that detail. So if you plan on video editing, or video editing, photo editing, raw format, that's, that's the one you need. If you are putting your photos into any editing software, definitely use raw but the file size will be a lot higher. Do note as well, if you don't edit these raw format images, the colors may be washed out because it doesn't optimize it for the final shot. So let me just explain. Let's say I take a picture of, I don't know, this, this box right here. It's gonna give you the original colors that the camera sees, but you need to use photo editing software to get those colors that a human will see. JPEG will do that for you. 
Um, so if you're not photo editing, just use JPEG. But if you are, use RAW because the final result with editing will be better. On top of this, you have the scene optimizer. So this one right here is going to apply AI to make your pictures look better. And some people say it's bad, but actually I like it. So I'll personally turn it on. If you are taking pictures of the moon though, it will just use AI to make the image just, yeah. It doesn't take the original image of the moon. So I'll personally turn that off if you are taking pictures of the moon, but anything else it's useful for. In the video mode, you probably want to set to the highest resolution here as well. So I, for my videos, you'll notice it looks really good. That's because I'm using a uh, Samsung S23 Plus, as you can see right here. And that's not as good as the S23 Ultra, but I record in UHD 60 because 60 means 60 FPS and the video looks really smooth. If you go to 8K30, the, um, the phone will overheat quite quickly, so I wouldn't recommend that. UHD 60 is a sweet spot. But then also go into the settings, go into advanced video options, and then turn on the HDR10+. And the quality of your videos is just going to look so much better. Because HDR try and, tries to capture low light images as like dark and high brightness images as actually bright. And regular video just can't do that. Everything looks the same for the most part. And so when you do that, boom, you're going to have so much better images so much better videos even than if you did not use HDR. You also do have these pro modes. None of these are really useful other than the Bixby Vision. Bixby Vision it will be able to take a picture like this and then capture the text from your image and then use that so you can copy it and stuff. So I can copy that text if I wanted to. And if you're out and about, you can also translate text that shows up as well, in the S23 Ultra, there is this thing called the S Pen. So we take this one out. What this allows you to do is, let's say, you know, someone's asking you for what to put on a shopping list and your memory isn't the best. So in the lock screen, we're holding down this S Pen button. I can double tap. And I can immediately start taking notes. So you want sugar, okay, you want bread. I mean, this is obviously just a hypothetical thing, but you can quickly take notes from the lock screen and you don't need to unlock the phone at all. You, know, you can just go boom, boom, boom. And so if you're a little bit forgetful, that helps you out. And let's unlock the phone. If we have this uh, menu here with a bunch of features. I'm just, just taking a regular note like this if you want to. And you have, you, know, you can take a partial screenshot like this, a bunch of other stuff, so many features here you can play with. I have a dedicated tutorial on using the S Pen. So if you just search up S Pen S23 Ultra, you'll find my just in-depth video. I cover everything, but uh, definitely take a look at the S Pen. Definitely check that one out. Now, on top of this, the S23 Ultra has the ability to connect to an external monitor. But this isn't like anything you typically see. So I'm going to move to an external monitor so you can actually have a look at uh, what you could use this for. In order to use the Samsung DeX, you first need to get a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. I have this anchor one here. I have the second one. As long as it has HDMI and preferably a power delivery so you can charge the phone while connected to the external display, then you're good to go. And so you just connect the USB Type-C end into the S23 Ultra. You connect the adapter with HDMI. So we just connect the HDMI adapter like this. And the HDMI cable should be going to the TV or monitor. Okay. And so once that is done, we're going to unlock the device. You saw it did say connect to an external display. And so it should show up any second now. 
And now we're in the Samsung DeX. So with DeX, unlike other brands or alternatives, it doesn't just mirror the screen, it gives you this full desktop experience. And so what this means is on the Samsung, if you just tap on this button at the bottom left that will show up, you can now, you see that? I'm now using my S23 Ultra to control the trackpad here. And so if we just double tap the Google, we can use full screen Google. And this is great if you wanna watch YouTube, if you wanna watch Netflix, you can do that here. You could even play full screen Call of Duty Mobile, full screen Minecraft, connect the controller to the S23 Ultra and have that running on the big screen. This is why DeX is so cool. Now, if we just close out of the touchpad here, if we just slide down from the top, slide down from the top again, and there is this DeX toggle, if you just tap on that toggle, that will turn off the Samsung DeX. And so what this will do is when the DeX is off, you will just have the device mirrored. And then if we just turn back on the DeX, you can see it is mirroring everything. If we just turn on the DeX, boom, it's going to have that external display. I would recommend you do connect the S23 Ultra to power while using this, uh, because otherwise, you will drain battery quite quickly. But don't forget you can still use the phone while the DeX is running. So if you have a movie on the big screen, you can still browse social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, not a problem. And yeah, this is a pretty cool feature. Do let me know in the comment section if there are other features you're using to get most out of the S23 Ultra, which would help others watching this video. Um, please do drop a like. Bye-bye.